Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope and y-intercept. This is standard 8.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a linear function here. We've got two different points plotted for us, and we are simply asking for what is the y-intercept of the graph. This is one of these problems to where if you already know what this term means, uh, if you're looking on your mathematics chart, there's not going to be any definition. There's no equation or formula that references the y-intercept. But if you already know what that means, this is probably one of the easiest problems you'll have on this test, and there's no calculation needed. If you're not 100% sure what the y-intercept is, let's slowly build that together. So we have been working all year on one way that we can write a linear equation right here, y equals mx plus b. So this y equals mx plus b, uh, obviously we have our y and our x, and we're used to y and x, especially if we're going to see it on a graph like we do here. But we've got these two letters, the m and the b. So let's talk about m first. So m in this form is slope. It's the slope in the slope-intercept form. So slope equals the rise over the run. You're wanting to look at how quickly does this line uh, slant down or slant up. In this case, we always go from left to right. It slants down, which means it's going to have a negative slope because it's slanting down. But how steep is that slope? Well, we can calculate that by looking at the change in y over the change in x. It means you take two y coordinates, subtract them. You take two x coordinates, subtract them, put them in the numerator and denominator respectively and you can figure out your slope, you can calculate it. So our, I'm going to use this right here as my um, y2 right here and my x2. And I'll use this right here as my y1 and my x1. If you did it opposite, you'd still get the exact same answer. So let me see, I've got minus 2 minus my 5. And so then I've got 8 minus 0. All right. So that looks like my slope is going to equal negative 7 eighths. And so I can rewrite my form. I can say y equals negative 7 eighths x. That means we're going to take our x. We are going to multiply by negative 7 eighths. We're going to get our y. But that's just our slope. Now we got to worry about this plus b. And as you can see, look, I've got two different options here that include that negative 7 eighths or negative 8 sevenths. Well, if I was looking for slope, uh, this is what I would find. This is the slope. So this j is just going to be kind of a distractor. But what does that be? Well, b is our y-intercept. So that's exactly what we are looking for in this problem. But now we know that uh, since we're not looking for slope, it's not going to be h either. So the y-intercept, uh, that's part of the, that's the intercept in the y-intercept form, the slope-intercept form. Or what happens if, what happens if x is 0, right? So if x is 0, right, well, we would say y equals negative 7 eighths times 0 plus b. Well, if negative 7, 10, 7 eighths times 0 is just going to be 0, right? So if x is 0, then y equals b. So we're looking at where does the line cross the y-axis. And you see it right there visually. It crosses this y-axis if x is 0. That's actually one of the points that they give us, y equals 5. So that is going to be our y-intercept. That means it simply crosses the y-axis at 5. And they've got that right there. So that's how you can, if you know what you're, you're doing, you can do this without any calculation. The pure slope-intercept form is going to be y equals negative 7, 8x plus 5. But we are just looking for our answer here of f.